Hello everyone, this is Anton and in this video I want to get into Obsidian and basically different ways of how you can export your file. So by default in the product you can export to PDF but you may want to export to Word or EPUB or maybe some other format and you're wondering right now how do you do it? Well there is an answer, there's a community plugin out there called Obsidian Pandoc. So now if you're an avid markdown user, you probably already know Pandoc. It's a command line tool that you can use to convert your markdown files into a plethora of different formats. And the good thing is that now in Obsidian, you can do an export of your markdown to a different format without a lot of command line type knowledge or knowing Pandoc commands on the back end. So let's go into the settings and we will enable this plugin. Let's go to the community plugins, we'll browse, and all we have to do is go ahead and type in Pandoc and the option will come up, Obsidian Pandoc here. We will install it and then we will enable it just like any other plugin that's out there in the community there. So we will go into the plugin settings. There are a few things that you can do in here. You can create some uh, custom CSS for any HTML output. You can change the, the theme that you might want to use when you do the export. Uh, internal link processing, how that's handled. Uh, export files to HTML or from HTML to Markdown. I leave it at HTML so you can play around with that as you see fit. You want to set up a different target from what the default is. The default is uh, basically to put the file exactly where the the markdown file is that you're exporting. Then you can show command line interface commands as it's doing the, the conversion. Um, you can set the pan dot path and this really is the only required change they probably should even change this to where, well, they do say it right here, Pandoc is not installed. So they do let you know that it's not installed at least. This should probably have like a, either a red dot or something showing here. Um, also to indicate this is the most important piece here for this plugin to work. Now they do give you some information here where they say um, the on Mac, they show you how you can get the path uh, to put here in this op settings um, window here for this path and on Windows they also do it as well. So I am going to put in the path for Pandoc. I'm on a Mac so I will go ahead and put that in there and because I'm using the help files here I'm going to also go ahead and change the location. Let me go ahead and put that to my downloads folder so it'll be easier for me to find. And then below this, you can use PDF latex path and put that in there if you're gonna use that and then extra Pandoc arguments if those are necessary. I'm gonna keep it simple in this video here and just scroll, go through the, the basic Pandoc um, features here that you can do and export a, a few different formats. So. Let's get Pandoc there. We'll go ahead and X out. And let's go ahead and do Control P. And we can see the commands window come up here. And you can go ahead and type Pan um, here to do a search for the different commands. And we see one uh, command that shows up here. Pandoc plugin export as HTML without Pandoc. So you're, we're getting this. Um, only option here because we have not closed Obsidian and restarted it. So it does not really say that in the in the plugin window there. It doesn't really tell you to close Obsidian, but you will want to close Obsidian because you will not get all the options that comes with this. So we'll close it. We'll go ahead and reopen up the Obsidian here. We will go ahead and change the file. Let's go ahead and do command P, bring up the command window and we'll type in Pandoc again and 
wow, look at all the options that pops up now of how you what you can export to from your markdown using this plugin. So with this particular plugin, let me see, I typically am exporting to either PDF or a docx file. So let's go ahead and show this and we'll maybe run through a couple like EPUB and um, potentially PowerPoint, I think is probably another one people might want to see. So let's go ahead and change this out to a doc file. So you are asked and the window popped up outside of what I'm recording, but you are asked to give Pandoc access on the first time that you're doing this on a Mac uh, to the basically to go ahead and execute. So we'll go ahead and do open there. And we also see now that that file has been exported and it gave the path of where that file was exported to over in the window there. So let me go ahead and browse to this file and let's open it and we'll take a look at it and see what the export looks like. Okay, so the file is um, open now in Word and we're taking a look at it here. So if we scroll through, we can see all the formatting is there. Let's take a look. So we have uh, the link here, which was a link to a website and oh, it shows here on the title. So the link did come through. Let's take a look at the document here again. So we had, yes, okay, so we did have link as a heading, then title was there. And if we go back to the file, you can also see that the, the embedded note that we had set up there also printed. So that preview has come over. So the preview went all the way down to here and let's go ahead and open that up on the raw format so we can see what that looks like. So all the way here, this entire document has been brought over as well. And then we moved into the, the image below that, the table that we had and we can see the table for is formatted there and the footnote. And the, let me see, the thing with the footnote is there is no link. So this did not transition well or convert well. And PDF just does work. So we can see in Word, it does not work here. So that's the docx export. Let's go ahead and export in another format and let's see what that looks like. Okay, we're going to control P again. We're gonna type pandoc and we are going to hit EPUB. Let's go ahead and try this EPUB. We'll go ahead and open this up. All right. And okay, so we have the EPUB open now. Okay, so we have the EPUB open now and we can see what this looks like. We will scroll through. It opened in dark mode here. My entire computer switched everything to dark mode. So bear with the dark mode on the EPUB here but we can see everything pretty much came over as it should. See, we don't have anything there, it's finished. All right, so similar to what we got in the Word doc, we have the same thing going on here in the EPUB format. Let's try another format and see what that looks like. We're going to pan doc again and let's do a PowerPoint this time just to see what this looks like. And this will be our last one. Go ahead and click there. I'll open up PowerPoint. We'll bring that in and we can see what this PowerPoint looks like here. So obviously this one is all over the place. So you would have to make sure you're formatting your file appropriately so that this actually comes over the way that you will want it to. So it is taking the, the different headings and it's making a new page out of each heading or a new slide and PowerPoint here out of each one. So as you do this, as long as you understand the formatting and also we'll see that the words did not 
fit to the actual space that was there. So there is some, you know, modifications you're going to have to make if you if you do want the PowerPoint and probably some of the other exports. You're probably going to have to still do some editing to tweak things, but most of the actual format of what you have in your Obsidian markdown file will come over. Here we can see the image. We get the table and we have similar situation here with the footnote but most of the other formatting came over well all right so that's it it was a quick look at obsidian pandoc giving you access to export your markdown files into different formats really easy this is a great plugin i encourage everyone to actually go ahead and install this here so that you have that flexibility to be able to export your files out into many more formats than just the you know raw source or more uh, markdown um, and pdf so if you like the video go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a nice day